So have you ever wondered if you could rekey Global Link camper locks easily? Well, I know many of you have, and that's why I am here with Phil today from Framen and Blue Dog Keys. Phil, how's it going? Grand, how about with you? Good, good. So hey, so we have this kit here that um, I'd like you to talk a little bit about because I think it's safe to say a problem today that you're trying to solve here is that people who have campers and RVs want different cylinders for a number of reasons. They want them rekeyed. Correct. And you have a simple, easy way here for that to happen. Yeah, so since we've taken on the Blue Dog line a few years ago, we saw a lot of RV and camper keys and things like that. We've gotten more into sets. And now, so Global Link, I was talking to Global Link a few weeks ago, and they offer this kit. It's a rekeying kit for their uh, cam locks and door locks. Most people that own a camper or an RV wind up with a mitt full of keys to all the different compartments and the door lock and things like that. So most campers, of course, have got a main entry door. Most of those main entry doors have got two cylinders in them. The the upper door you'll usually see an M on, which means it's for the master, or the master would fit it. Uh, the lower one is normally the deadbolt. That's normally not master keyed. But on a global link, any global link lock, these cylinders will pop right out with their yellow change key. So if you would like to make the camper set up so that um, we have one key that gets us in the door, plus all the cam locks, the, the compartment storage locks, you can do that with this kit. So. I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. So I see a few different things going on here. One, when you buy your camper or RV, that's a global link, right? That's very important. It can't be just any. It has to be a global link. Correct. If you got a bunch of different keys and your customer just wants one key, mm -hmm. you can, even though it came with different keys and even a different color key, you can actually, with this kit, remove those and turn it all into one key. That's correct. So two scenarios, either the camper already came with global link locks. Yep. Um, and a, the, the prime factor here is the door lock, the entry lock. So this this particular, let's just say our camper's got this particular lock on it made by global link. We've got two purple keys that get us in the door. Then they're gonna wind up with another key for all the compartments down below. Yes. This kit allows you to change these cylinders as well as all those cam locks on the lower part of the uh, camper or RV so that we're on one key for the entire thing. Might be a convenience case, it might be a case of somebody has their key already mm -hmm. and they just want to change it so that it's on a different key. So this kit allows you to do that. The other thing it allows you to do, if we had a Bauer or a Trimark or an FIC trailer, is we can change the door lock to a global link by buying an entire new unit. These, these aren't that expensive. And then again, we go back down to the cam locks and make everything fit one key. So if we were to take, if someone were to come in with a FIC mm -hmm. RV or camper, yep. and they wanted it rekeyed, you could essentially, you have to sell them a new one of these. Change that door lock. Change yep. that door lock and will it fit 100%? Like, is there modifications to be done? About 90% of the campers on the road, whether it's Trimark, FIC, Global Link, or Bauer, all use the same pattern of the, of the door do. lock. Okay. Yeah. And so you just replace it Obviously, it's gonna come with a couple keys. Correct. And then you could essentially take that key number, use a kit, or replace the, the cylinders that come with it mm -hmm. with other numbers of the kit that you have. Correct. Get those to match, and then all of the cam locks you could replace with these global link cylinders, and now they have one key for the entire camper. Exactly. So. Yep, it allows you to do all of that. And so yeah, get down to one key instead of a handful of them. That's very awesome. All right, well, hey, let's pretend that this is my lock. Okay. And I want new keys to fit it. So first question is how much? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> as much as I can turn it Yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, the, the change key comes with the kit. You get two of them in the kit. So the first thing we're gonna do is just, again, this is a global link lock, so we can pull those cylinders out. So there's our regular entry. And then the deadbolt lock is on the bottom, so we can pull both of those cores out. Okay. And then really, it's as easy as just grabbing another cylinder. And which, so, which, if we could stop for a minute here and talk about these new cylinders. So it comes with non-master cylinders and master cylinders. So what I like about this is that if you don't want one of those pesky master keys to fit 
this lock. Yep. If a customer comes and says, I don't want that to fit it or whatever, you can put in non-masters on the entire camper if you want. Exactly. And then that's cool. only your key is going to fit. That's At the cool. same time, you're going to find out what your code number is at the same time. So you'll know that the entire camper is keyed to G354 here yeah. in this case. So, um, and just kind of a step back here. Normally on a camper lock, um, we get a lot of questions on this. The main entry door um, with a little flip latch like this, this is normally the mastered cylinder. The thought process with the deadbolt, it's normally not mastered. The thought process is you're taking your keys with you to flip that deadbolt, so the keys must be outside, so we don't really need a mastered cylinder to fit that. This latch you can actually lock, walk out of the camper, and leave your keys in. Tougher to do with the deadbolt. Yeah. So, so again, if we just want to start replacing cylinders, we'll grab a few of these. I've already got one here. We're just going to slide our change key back in and slide that in. It's that easy. So now we've got that cylinder is on code number G354 instead of what it was, and we would just go around the entire camper doing that. So the cam locks uh, that come with the kit, there's 10 of each. There's 7 eighths, inch and an eighth, inch and three eighths, and inch and three quarter. Um, and I already have one out of the bag here. And so if we want to change this over to the new cylinder, uh, there's a little arrow on this red plug and a dot on the outside of the shell. We're just going to pull that out. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Just going to grab our core and line up our dots and pull that change key out. And so now your cam locks are rekeyed. These cam locks do not come with tail pieces. Um, they want, uh, the thought process here is that you're gonna use the same tail piece or the same cam that's already on the that came lock off. that came off that you just took out. So, so yeah, you just go all the way around the camper and take care of it that way. Very cool, it's a really nice, easy, effective solution for RVs, especially when they have the uh, global link keys, right? Correct. Now, if you could just tell us real quick, like how many of, uh, so I mean, on this kit here, there's what, one, two, three, four different codes. Correct. And there's, um, how many of the actual plugs are there? Yep, so you have 10 of each mastered cylinder in four different keyways. So this kit, for instance, is G351, 352, 353, and 354. Mm -hmm. So you get 10 mastered plugs for each one of those numbers. Yep. You get 15 non-mastered plugs for each one of those numbers. Uh, I believe they give you 10 of each key blank, um, pre-cut key, so we've got yep. 40 keys in here. And then as far as the locks go, there's 10 of each um, cam lock in the kit, plus two of the yellow change keys. So really, a complete kit to get you going if you ever want to rekey, you know, when you want to get into this. This market is really untouched by locksmiths. Most of them uh, just run away from this type of work, but it, it, you can make great money here. These cam locks don't cost that much more than what a traditional uh, complex cam lock does, and it gives you a lot of flexibility with uh, what you can do in the future with it as well. So if you ever need to rekey the camper at a later date. Well, hey, I think it's a it's a really cool solution. Of course, um, we'll be uh, having these and all of these individual parts in stock. So if you need to reorder, you can, right? Correct. Very important to, to buy a kit like this and you run out of this one, you need to be able to reorder it. So exactly. we'll definitely have that. But well, Phil, thank you so much for uh, uh, showing this stuff. And of course, we'll put a link in the notes below. But more importantly, I'm curious what you think. Let Phil and I know your comments. And thank you for watching. Phil, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you all next time. If you wanna pop that a little higher up there so yeah. we can... Uh... Yes, thank you. There, do that upside down. That's super neat, very handy. It's going right. Yep. That's what I'm always at whenever I'm recording videos. That's what I'm always looking at. <laughs> so many of the hand videos, I'm like... <laughs> you know, I'm like trying to do hand videos while looking at the screen to make sure you're doing them right. It's like a whole new level, you know? A change key, which comes in the kit, you get two of them. You just slide that in there and the core comes right out. Yep, and so, it comes with the, the removal key. That's correct, yep. the kit does. So uh, we'll remove that, we'll remove the deadbolt, and the deadbolt, why does it not come out? Why isn't that coming out? I wonder if I have it locked. Yes, I had a lock. And we just give that a little pull. 
There we go. All right. Congrats, you've made it to the end. Now, I wanna make sure that when you are commenting on our videos that you include the hashtag LockBoss. When you do, you automatically get entered in to win one of five free prizes we give away every Tuesday live here on YouTube. So I look forward to reading your comment and responding soon. Until next time.